I'm Rob Menzies and welcome back to my channel. We are here in the middle of June 2022 and we are heading off for yet another No Limits track day. Today we are heading off to the fantastic Cadwell Park and I'm going to be doing the usual. I will have the GPS turned on on my GoPro. Uh, we'll basically then be able to look at all the telemetry using the uh, race techno and I'm also going to be out there using the small boys track hire bikes and we'll be on the Kawasaki 636. So come with me as I guide you through all the different sessions, walk you through all of it and enjoy the ride. Okay, so we're now here at Cadwell Park and I'm getting ready to go out onto the next session. Uh, but before I do, I just wanted to take a minute and talk to you about uh, wearing my trusty Heli airbag vest. Uh, I never go out on track unless I'm wearing my airbag vest. And if you are a horse rider, a road motorbike rider or a track day rider, then I would highly recommend that you go and check it out. Um, this is just giving you guys a huge amount of extra protection on top of all of the usual stuff. And uh, should the worst happen, and just giving you that extra protection you need. Now, just to help you guys out, I've got a lovely link for you down here below. Uh, do come and have a click on that. That will give you 50 pounds off, as well as a little bit back for myself to help with the servicing of this vest. And uh, well, I think without further ado, we're gonna crack on and start getting the next session. So uh, let me tell you all about it. Okay, so we're here at Cadwell Park and I'm just about to head out onto the fourth session of the day. Uh, this is the last one before lunch and I've got to say, I was absolutely knackered going out on this session. This one I really, really did struggle with and uh, yeah, basically I end up coming in before the end of the session as I just get too tired and can't quite muster it. Um, lap times are a little bit slower than I've done slightly earlier on in the day. I think they creep into the low 150s. Um, but it's still a lot of fun do come along do come and have a watch we're going to guide you through show you those analytics show you the best laps and uh, also bring you along for the entire session as we enjoy Cadwell Park Okay, so we're coming into the analytics for this session and actually now that I've got the analytics up in front of me, um, this session was actually really great. Um, in actual fact, from a consistency point of view, probably one of the best sessions I may have ever done in my life. It was so, so consistent. So let's just run you through what we can see on screen. So top left hand side here, we've got a heat map of the circuit. Uh, what you basically see here is anything that's in blue is the really slow speeds, anything in red is the top end of the speeds. In the middle here what we've then got is basically the lap times and the sector times. Now as you can see here I'm highlighting lap 4 which was a 147.29 but if you actually look at every single other lap there is hardly anything in it at all. So um, as you can see here we're ranging anywhere between a 147 to a 149 so literally a couple of seconds in it we didn't do a single lap that went into the 150s which I've got to say actually I'm really really happy about. No wonder I finished this session a little bit early and pulled into the pits. Um, I think I must have been pretty worn out having done uh, these continuous times for, for seven laps. So that's pretty impressive. Um, on the right hand side, I'm just selecting the, uh, the one lap. So lap four here and you can then see the video footage paused on the right hand side. And then down at the bottom here, we have the speed, the power, and the lean angle. So a few things that I wanted to try and pick out. Um, first of all, uh, one of the bits that I was kind of impressed with is a uh, lean angle here. So as you zoom along um, the start finish straight, and then you go around a banked curve as you zoom up the hill, um, it's actually recording a 60 degree lean angle, which is pretty darn impressive, it's got to be said. I think that has more to do with the lean angle of the banked curve than the lean angle of the bike but put the two together and there we go um, the other thing that I was noticing is some of the top speeds so um, coming down the uh, the main start finish straight here we can see 128 miles an hour so we're, we're nudging the 130s and again as we go down the main dip and coming up the other side again very similar speed so we're at 127.3 so really kind of getting some speeds on um, again we can see very great consistency as we're going through the rest of the lap so yes yeah, this is pretty impressive and I'm really quite chuffed with this session so what I'm going to do now is give you the analytic overlay for lap 4 so you can basically see completely live 
um, what was happening from a lean angle and a speed perspective so we'll play that for you in a second and then we're going to carry on into the full session and uh, you get to see literally all of the fourth session so enjoy <laughs>
I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please remember to not only like the video, but also hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos like this in the future. Thanks again for watching and see you again soon.